Good morning again, everyone. This is Linda Stacy again, back in my uh, train station parking lot. And thank you so much, everyone, for coming on yesterday and supporting me and liking what I had to say. Um, I thought I would say a little bit more about what I'd started to talk about yesterday. Um, I have a workshop coming up in the end of September, and that workshop is applicable to lots of environments. And it has to do with everything I've been doing with Living Blueprints in the last six or seven years. But I talked about what you would do if you had 10 extra hours. And I, I mentioned some fun things that people like to do, like golf and garden and ski. And I thought I would mention that sometimes with the audiences, we get to other types of things like enrichment, personal development, that type of thing, um, which is a little bit different and more involved. And that's also something that I try to help people with to create more space for like really good things because I really feel that we're here like on the planet to learn to grow to produce and to change and sometimes with our really harried work schedules and lives it's impossible to find time to do that especially if the work itself that we're doing our regular nine to five isn't isn't providing that for us too much so in addition to maybe um the fun things that you want to incorporate in your life you know maybe you want to incorporate a new yoga practice or meditation practice or you want to be more mindful about your eating and you know that that just takes a lot of time and energy and you just don't have the time and energy to actually put into it even though in the long run it would probably help things be better both of those things were problematic for me back in 2009 when i started all of this but when i started implementing the systems i actually was creating space for even bigger things that i wasn't really planning yet so maybe you want to write a book. Maybe you want to start a side business. Maybe you want to train for like a major athletic event and you're totally not in shape for it. These are really big things that create a lot of time, effort, you know, energy um, that require all of those things. So how do you do it? Um, and then there's this other block of things that, that takes a lot of our time and energy that might be happening in your life. Um, you may have moved. You might have a new job. You might have a new baby. You might have just gotten married. You might be getting divorced. All of these things are major transitions and create a lot of new moving parts that you're not familiar with and they take time and energy and it's like how do you manage that all well and continue to grow produce and change um, again this is what I focus on in my workshops and tomorrow or Friday I'm not sure which day yet my schedule's a little crazy this week I will talk about the actual components of this workshop that I'm offering in September to give you a sense of how this would be set up but um I really feel like in order to create our best life, we need to be thoughtful and mindful about it. Yes, things will change, but you'd never start any major project without having a plan. So I think we should at least treat our own lives like that. And, and yes, be open to the changes that come along the way. So again, that workshop that I'm offering locally in the Massachusetts area is in Lexington, September 23rd. It's a half day workshop. It's like from 8.45 until noon. There's more information at my Living Blueprints uh, Facebook page. I also have a Facebook private page for Living Blueprints that I mentioned yesterday, and it's more like a micro blog where I talk about what I do day to day to execute a little bit more seamlessly so that what I'm doing every day kind of matches up with the larger picture that I'm going for in my life with everything going on and the full time job and everything else. And what else? Um, I hope you, you follow me and thanks again for your support and have a great day.